I'm Dr. Ramakrishna Prasad, a board certified family medicine doctor and an HIV AIDS specialist. I practice at the Health Roots Clinic in Sheshadripuram and also at Vijayanagar, Bangalore. Additionally, I'm a faculty member in family medicine at St. Philomena's Hospital. So let's talk a little bit about what are the signs and symptoms of HIV infection itself. When someone gets infected with HIV, in the initial phases, um, they may not experience anything. Uh, however, uh, several people might experience a flu-like illness or a viral fever-like illness, uh, the signs and symptoms of which are feeling tired, having a fever, they may have bumps in their throat area, in their neck area called lymph nodes, and they may also have a rash. This is uh, the phase which is called acute HIV infection or primary HIV infection. Mm. This is followed by a period of many years where typically people are infected and their virus is multiplying within them. However, they feel no symptoms and on examination may not have any signs. This is called the uh, asymptomatic phase of HIV infection. After many years of unchecked or uncontrolled HIV infection, the immune system begins to falter or become weak. This phase is called AIDS. Some of the important signs and symptoms of this phase, that is AIDS, include unexplained weight loss, on and off fever, <clears throat> feeling tired, uh, the presence once again of lymph nodes, either in the neck or in the armpit areas or in the inguinal groin areas. Additionally, uh, there could be some skin findings or um, developing the signs and symptoms of another infection such as tuberculosis. So to summarize, <clears throat> um, many times HIV infection may not have any signs or symptoms. So it is important to be uh, tested for HIV in a timely manner, even in the absence of any symptoms or signs if there be uh, any concern that one might have been exposed. Additionally, because HIV does not have any specific signs and symptoms, um, if there is any concern, it would be advisable to meet with a physician and be screened or tested for HIV infection. Um, and uh, specifically for the mom who asked this question, um, it is very difficult to comment whether uh, the symptoms described are of HIV infection itself. Um, if there is concern that your teenage daughter might have been exposed to HIV infection either at the time of birth or subsequently, the uh, most advisable thing would be to meet with a physician and be screened or tested for HIV infection. Thank you.